Hi, I'm Allison with the Moon Society. Why go to space? With so many things going on in the world, one might overlook the growing number of companies whose entire purpose is to go to space. While many people consider this endeavor long overdue, others may be less acquainted with why this is a worthy goal. What is so special that tourists are paying tens of millions of dollars and self-made billionaires are spending fortunes for a chance to make it happen? Is it just a dream? Are there other uses for space technology? What about the environment? What makes it worth all the effort? One of the messages we'd like to get across to the public is that space exploration isn't just about space. It uh, potentially could address uh, fixing some of the most fundamental problems on Earth. The fact is that uh, if, if you're believing uh, that the goal of humanity is, is to spread life into space, you're trumping the entire environmental we don't, we don't want to just save the life of Earth. We want to expand the life of Earth to worlds now dead. We want to take life and spread that seed. That's an incredible and exciting thing to do. We go into space to create a better future for ourselves and our children, to create more hope. We go into space because uh, that kid growing up in China right now, maybe you, wants to have that same future that you see on TV or that you see on the podcasts or YouTube or whatever of, of uh, you know, a nice living, uh, a nice house, maybe a two-car garage that you see on the TV shows or this or that and the other. We go into the future so that you can have that without destroying this beautiful and incredible planet we live on. With the opportunities and promise that space offers, there is the obvious question, where do we start? Do we construct O'Neill space colonies from material launched from Earth? Do we colonize a near-Earth object, an asteroid or a comet? Do we head directly to Mars? There is a very obvious starting point in an extremely convenient location. It's always near Earth, never on the wrong side of the sun, and it has many of the resources we need to construct a spacefaring future. This destination is the Earth's moon. I got into space uh, largely because I wanted to go to the moon. Uh, I haven't been there yet uh, other than uh, virtually uh, with the Clementine probe. In my mind, the reason for going to the moon is quite simple. We're going to the moon to learn how to live and work on another world. This is the first planet that's off our own where we can actually get experience living on another planet. It's not like living in low Earth orbit. It's not even like living in, on, on a, a distant interplanetary spacecraft traveling between the planets. This is living on another planet with its own history, its own environment, and its own special set of challenges. I also came to think that the moon is not only important to me personally, but to the human race, because it's our stepping stone to the solar system. It's where our, we cut our teeth, we learn how to do things, and it can be used as a platform to help us get to the rest of the solar system. Uh, the moon is obviously the, the, the first really significant step. Uh, uh, a little over a decade from now, I think we're going to begin to see permanent uh, occupation off the planet. So I can't imagine a more exciting time to be alive. If we can live and work productively on the moon, we can live and work on any other object in the solar system. So going to the moon is, is exciting in its own right. It's understanding the moon's evolution and using the moon scientifically, but it's also developing the skills we need to become a true spacering species. I remember a quote by Kraft Ericke, who spoke at the first Lunar Base Symposium in Washington, D.C. in 1984. He said that some people say if God had meant people to fly, he would have given them wings. I say if God had intended for humans to be a spacefaring species, he would have given them a moon. So, where do we go from here? What is our plan? Our methods? What can robotics do for us? What about food production? Architecture? What do we need to learn? And how do we make space pay for itself? We hope to cover these topics and more in upcoming episodes. For the Moon Society, I'm Allison.